Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about synthesis of mechanism using graphical approach. For synthesis of mechanism, we have the two different graphical methods are we are using. One is relative pole method. Relative pole method. And second one is by inversion method. Inversion method. We have two different approaches are there. Here in this lecture, we are going to see about how to graphically synthesize a mechanism using inversion method. That means by inversion method. During synthesis, we know there will be two point synthesis are there, three point synthesis are there. That means three point synthesis means for uh, during designing of mechanism, we know the two precise points of this mechanism. For three point synthesis, we know the three precise points of the mechanism. Three pre uh, precise points means uh, we know the out uh, accurate three positions of the mechanisms. Okay, if the input uh, input theta moves from one position to second position, where should be the output link com uh, should comes from? That is the uh, accurate points. Example. Okay, we are uh, again discuss within a, a question. Here I am taking this question from the return. That means exercise number five point three. Okay, in this question, what they are saying, uh, what they are required means you design a four bar mechanism, four bar mechanism to coordinate the three positions. That means the three points in the system, three positions of input and output link. For the following angular displacement, that means in this position, uh, positions three uh, in this question three points are given. We need to design the four bar mechanism accordingly. That uh, here the theta one to two is equal to thirty five degree and the theta one to three is equal to eighty degree. Phi one to two is equal to fifty degree and phi one three is equal to eighty degree. First of all, we know, need to know what is mean by this theta angle and what is mean by this phi angle. Theta is the angle. Coordinated with the input link, theta angle coordinate with input link, and phi is the angle coordinated with output link, and theta is the input link and phi is the output link. In suppose I am just drawing a input link and output link. Suppose for a four bar mechanism, this may be the input link, this first position. Okay, this angle, this that means angle with respect to this horizontal, this theta, this is the theta. Okay, this theta one to two means, suppose this is the first position, the uh, the input link should move to the thirty five degree in clockwise manner or in anti clockwise manner. That means this theta the second position is here. This is the thirty degree, thirty five degree. This is the theta one two. This is theta one two. This means from one to two position is thirty five degree. This is our angle. Okay. Now five one two two means suppose this may be the output link. Suppose this may be the output link. If theta in theta angle, that means theta one to two position. If theta input two angle position displaces to thirty five degree, the output angle phi should displaces to fifty degree. That is the meaning. Okay. Suppose this is the position of the input link at first, at initially. If the theta angle moves, that means if the input link moves to thirty five degree, the out output link should displaces to an angle fifty degree. To fifty degree. This is the second position. Sorry, this is the second position. Okay, one dash, dash two dash. We need to design a four bar mechanism accordingly. Okay, for that we are just going to draw that one. In this question, we need to observe the two different points. Here I am going to take arbitrarily any length of the link. Okay, that means in a four-bar mechanism, fixed link is there, input link is there, 
a couple of links there, output links there. In this question, no link is provided. Okay, any one of the links. Hence, I am going to take my, um, my length or arbitrary length. Okay, for the two links, any of the two links, that means I am here I am taking the length of the fixer link. Length of fixer one and the length of output link. Length of output link in arbitrary manner. Okay, arbitrary manner means it is my interest. Uh, if for this question I am here, I am going to take the length of the fixer link is 6 cm and for output link is 4 cm. Okay, this is my interested value. This is my interest, um, my interested value. This 6 cm and 4 cm is arbitrarily taken. Okay. Now we are go, uh, going to start the synthesis of the four bar mechanism using the graphic uh, by the inversion method. Okay, for that one, first we need to fix the two different points. That means the length of the fixer links. For marking, for that marking, I am going to mark here two points, six centimeter. Okay, six centimeter. I am fixing this link. Here I am fixing this link. Okay. This is O1 and O2. Now I am going to take this length of the output link is 4 cm in any arbitrary angle. In any arbitrary angle means in any, it is my interest. That means the 4 cm. Length of the output link is 4 cm. It is my interest. Okay. This angle is my interest. Suppose if you need to take this angle. Okay. It is fine. Now this is my this is my initial position uh, final initial position one or one dash. Okay. In second step, that my first step, I just draw a fixer link and an output link. Okay. In second step, I need to draw. First, I need to consider this phi one two as a fifty degree. That means. 1 to 2 second position is 50 degree displacement and 1 5 1 to 3 that means the initial to final is 80 degree displacement okay i am going to I'm going to draw accordingly for that one from this initial point this is the initial point the second point should be the displacement of angle 50 degree i am going to take, take the 50 degree angle then this is our 50 degree 1 to 2 this is the second position this is the 50 degree angle now one initial to final point that means the third point it is 80 degree hence I am going to take the initial point and final degree as 80 degree you can see it is 80 degree I already said the link of the length, uh, the fixer link should be the same. The length should be the same. Hence, I am making these two different points. This is a second point, two dash, and this is a three dash point. Okay, this angle should be theta is sorry, phi is fifty degree in clockwise manner. Okay, and one two three five is eighty degree or in suppose in another question they will give the theta two uh, five two to three should be thirty degree okay hence also the diagram is same that means this is angle for five two to three here the five one two two is given and one two three the initial and final positions is given here the 2 to 2 means second position to third position it is 30 degree whatever will be the question may be as like so the next step is I am just going to join this fixed point and this second point okay this second position from this question we know that 
for obtaining this 50 degree output link displacement how much the input link should move that is 35 degree that is obtained from that question hence what I am going to do means I am going to take this in their line that means O1 to 2 dash to 35 degree anti clockwise manner ok here please listen for this output link displacement I am all, I am taking all the angles in clockwise manner ok but for drawing the input link, uh, link I am just taking O1 to 2 dash in anti clockwise manner that means the second position is over 35 degree hence I am going to take 35 degree in anti clockwise manner that means I am just putting I am just putting the angle in 35 degree ok and 35 degree and I am marking that position and now drawing this 2 dash line O2 2 dash line in 35 degree this is 35 degree ok 35 degree and the position of 2 dash will come here now now this is the position of 2 dash and this is the position of point 2 I am here putting the point 2 as point 2 ok similarly I am going to draw this third line for the third position I am just drawing the O1 and 3 if the output link is moving to the 80 degree position 80 degree position the input link should this also displaces 80 degree ok that is I get it from question hence what I am going to do means I am just taking 80 degree from this joint line this means this is the ender line I am just turning this ender line to 80 degree, Celsius, uh, 80 degree in anti clockwise manner this is anti clockwise manner. I am just taking this 80 degree line. Okay, now I am going to draw a line through this point. Now the third point is comes here. Now the third point should come here. Now third point should come here. Now this is our three position. Okay. Now what I am going to do means now just just join this 1 dash and 2 point 1 dash and 2 point and 1 dash and 3 point 1 dash and 3 point and what I am going to do means I am just draw a perpendicular bisectors to 3 and 1 dash line and 2 and 1 dash line I am just going to draw a perpendicular bisectors for these 2 lines ok for that purpose I am just taking more than half length ok just I am going to cut this this is a perpendicular bisector this is a perpendicular bisector for the 1 to 2 dash line 1 to 2 dash line I am just drawing that one and perpendicular bisector for 1 dash to 3 I am just going to draw perpendicular bisector for 1 dash and 3 this is the 2 point this is the perpendicular bisector ok now we will get a point at which the 2 perpendicular bisects meets this is our industry point ok please listen 1 dash and 2 1 dash and 2 uh, we draw a perpendicular bisector and 1 dash and 3 we draw a another perpendicular bisector ok these two perpendicular bisectors will meet at a particular point this is our industry point that means from this point to the fixed line this should be our output link and from this point to this 1 dash this is our coupler link length of our coupler link to achieve this particular coordinate systems ok suppose if you need to check this and this one whether it is right or wrong just displace this input link ok this just displace this input link I am just taking this, this is one I am just taking this, this is this input link to 35 degree 
clockwise direction i'm just going to take this input linking clockwise direction okay you just take this input linking clockwise my direction this is 35 degree okay now this may be the position this may be the position and the length of the link o to 1 o 1 to 1 will come here will come here now this 1 1 dash coupler link 1 1 dash coupler link may become here and the output link o to 2 1 dash will come here you will see this is our point now just we are going to measure it okay now just we are going to measure it here we will see if the input link is moving to the 35 degree in clockwise direction 35 degree in clockwise direction the output link that means this 1 dash 2 will move to here will move to here that means this angle should be 50 degree this angle should be in 50 degree manner okay that is the record mechanism okay thank you if you need to check the third point it will also be in similar manner okay Please check according to the similar manner as the second position displaces. Thank you.